Hi everybody, and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to make a part for Space Flight Simulator. Now the part I'm going to make is an expanding orange balloon because that was recently requested and I'm like, sure, let's do that. The tutorial assumes that you followed Steph's instructions to download all the software you need to make this run. So first thing we're going to do is instead of using all the pre-made ones, we're simply going to go create a prefab. I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch because while you can change other parts into things, generally I find that trips up people more often than learning how to do it right the first time. So we have our new prefab, but we're going to call it inflating balloon and open it up here. We're going to add the following co uh, components. Part, which is then going to tell us that we also need to add orientation and we need to add variables. We then click here to make orientation and variables part of the package and in the variables we can have doubles, we can create a boolean so on off or we also have a string so if you want a string of text or something. For this particular one we're going to create a double and we're going to call it inflate. We'll use this later but for right now we'll leave it at zero. So the next step is we are going to create an empty. This is an empty object, it's a game object, and in this game object we're going to make our balloon. And we're going to add the following components. So for this one here we're actually going to add a polygon. Uh, we're going to add a, poly, a custom polygon. We're going to add a polygon collider and we're going to add a polygon mesh which is going to then ask for the polygon module which we're going to select balloon and it's going to ask for a texture and for this texture we are going to pick um, no, I haven't really made one yet. circle there we go okay and you can see here it sort of made the circle which is going to be our balloon and we'll get to that in a And here we have our circle. Next thing we're going to want to do is create a new empty object. We're going to call this inflate. And this is going to have a move module. And this move module is going to need uh, two variables, which we will go to inflate to make called And you can call these whatever you want, it's just that tends to be the nomenclature that's in the game, so I'm kind of sticking with it. And then you're going to put time state and target state here. And then you can add animation. And here, basically, you can make a whole bunch of different things, but we're going to say scale. And we're going to go the balloon. And we're going to go XYZ. We're going to go here and instead of zero, because we do want the balloon to be seen at the start. We're going to edit this key and we're going to say it's going to start at 1. And then over here, we're going to go and edit this key and we're going to say 5. And this balloon is going to get 5 times bigger. And then we're going to repeat this in the Y axis because obviously we want to keep it circled. And we're going to go edit key 1. And then over here, we're going to go edit key 5. There we go. So if we go here and we say time scale is 1, we can apply animation and see we get a very big balloon and when time scale is zero we can see we get back to a smaller balloon. Now the only problem with this that you might have noticed is that it does move position and that's not great. So we're going to add another um, element in here and we're going to call it position and we're going to again set it to the balloon and here we're going to say all right so y-axis we're pretty happy with we're going to go straight here but in the x-axis we're going to start off at zero which is where it currently is and we're going to go to this key here i'm going to go negative 2.5 and the reason for that is because we want the balloon to move back so when we apply the animation again here it goes like 
that. this to zero and to this to zero. Okay. And we end up with that, which is good. Now I'm going to make a little change here because now that I've thought about it, I've said, okay, but actually, you know what? I would rather have it where it starts off at negative one or negative 0 0.5. And the reason for that is because when it zeroed out, animation it's centered and then when it expands it's centered here so that means that this point here can be our connection point with the rest of the game which we can then create yep another element and we're going to call this connection and we're actually going to drop this down so it's not actually the child no, this is not intentional there we go and this connection is going to have a surface a custom surface and this surface is an attachment surface and it doesn't need to be a drag surface that's fine um, and this point here is going to be negative zero point negative zero point five zero and then zero point five zero and if we click the view that's not where it should be oh shoot right sometimes you gotta watch for that if you go into So it doesn't move. So the attachment point is right here, which is just near the balloon. If we wanted to get really fancy, we could do other stuff, but we also want to put in connection um, in the balloon is not only just the size because we have this thing, but it's a box. Um, you can see the polygon box. So what we can do here is actually change it. Now, there's a couple ways to do this, but I'm going to do it this way and hopefully not break it. I say this. We're going to add extra points. Grab the points and we're going to bring them down about here and then we'll bring another one here and basically make ourselves more of an octagon. This still has the circle in it, but now we have less impact because it's not a circle as the, as the game is handling, it's handling it as a square. And obviously if you wanted to, you could definitely add a lot more vertice points and make this smaller. But for right now, that's pretty good. And when we generate the mesh, perfect. It hasn't moved the circle at all. There you go. So this is going to expand and it's going to do that. And that's great. Now, next step here is with our connection point. So we've added the connection point it's going to be right here, but we do need to add something to indicate that this is the side that people should be connecting it to. So we're going to go back to here. We're going to create yeah another. You get used to this step, and we're going to call this one package. Close. I'm going to make another one by doing copy paste, and this one we're going to call it package open. And there's a reason for this, um, and. I'll show you what we're going to do here. So this one here, we're actually going to make a custom pipe. And here's our custom pipe. It's going to make it in some random spot. We're going to actually move it. Always check up here for the zeros because sometimes it gets a little strange when we make these things. And basically here we're going to, this allows you to change the rotation. This allows you to move it. But we're basically going to go here and I'm just going to go back to inflate. And I'm going to deflate it for a second. Apply animation. There we go. And we're going to go back to package open. Or package close, sorry. So in package closed, we're just going to make it a box. And then we're going to add here pipe. Um, we're going to add a mesh. And in the mesh, it's going to want the data, which is obviously right there. And then it's going to ask us the color texture. Now there's a lot of in-game textures. You can add new ones as well. But for right now, we're going to use metal four. I think that's probably good. And it's going to ask for a shape. And the shape we're going to use is flat edges. There we go. Perfect. And then color, 
Um, we're going to make it a little darker. Like so. And we can play around with this a bit later, but that's sort of what we got right there. And it houses our balloon. All right. And then when our balloon gets bigger, let me actually do a little open. So we're actually just going to copy this and paste it and change this to open. And in open, we're going to create a new mesh that's open. So we're going to inflate the balloon because obviously we want the open to be in line with the inflation right there. There we go. And we're going to open and we're going to shrink it down to as thin as we can. And then we're going to hit generate mesh again here. And for this guy, we're just going to toggle him, toggle him active for a second. And we're going to end up with that, which is not bad. So there we go. Now, there's a reason we added this in here. Um, it's because we do want to have this where you can click it, etc. Um, this balloon has a drag. It's not going to have any attachment surfaces. So we're going to go through and just fix up a few things. So number one, we're going to remove attachments and collider from the balloon because the balloon, obviously we don't want it to collide or attach to anything. It's going to be coming in this package closed. Um, next step we're going to do is we're going to go to inflate and we're going to add a setting for this and we're going to hit plus plus and we're going to call this active and inactive. And these ones here are just going to go straight lined here. And we're going to make inflate closed open the active one, which means that normally it's on inactive and package closed, which is going to be normally active, the opposite of inactive like this. And then we can apply the animation. So, and you can see here that it's closed and when it's open. Now we can also add a time. Now animation time, we don't want to make it too long um, because it'll take too long to activate, but we don't want to make it too short that it just snaps. So in this case, we're going to go and pick a nice time of about three seconds. Now in Unity, you can't actually see it. You actually put it in the game to watch the actual three second animation because you can only hop between the numbers. But if you were to go 0.5, apply animation, this is what it would look like. Um, so we're gonna hit zero. And just to make this a little bit more interesting because while we're here, I'm gonna go and use a scale function. I'm going to pick the package open function. I'm gonna say X is one and Y is you're going to start it actually I'm going to start it at 1 because that's what it normally is and we're actually going to have it drop at a key to 0.5 and this will give us a curve that will go down and we can actually grab these points and sort of do this like you know give it a give it a little weird curve so it'll actually do that and that'll make the top come down and it'll look really good. So there we go. Awesome. So now we have this all set up so that it'll open close this balloon. Now the only problem we have is that this piece doesn't actually have a trigger. We actually have to tell it to do so. And in order to do that we actually have to go to parts unused. We're going to click here. We're going to select from our scene the inflate object and we're going to pick the move option and we're going to pick toggle. There's another option you could pick which is activate but activate activates it but you cannot bring it back. It's a one-way trip. This allows us to deflate the balloon afterwards. So depending on what you want to do with it those are the two choices you have. Okay so now that we have this all set up um, one big thing I've noticed here is that this balloon is gray it's not color orange that we want so we're going to change that out now we're going to do this it's a little bit of an interesting way of doing it but we're going to add a component and we're going to add color spelt the american way and we're going to add custom color 
and that custom color, we're going to click on the wheel. We're going to pick this nice bright orange. We're going to make sure that it's all the way up so that it's got a good uh, opaqueness. And then we're going to go here to color optional and we're going to pick balloon, which has that color. And you can see here that it then creates that orange. Now, depending on the shading as additive, it'll look a little darker or lighter. So we can play with that if we want to a little bit and then generate the mesh again and we get this thing here. So there's a lot more work we can do on this, but for right now, this is pretty much functional. So we're going to go here and we're going to give it a name. We're going to say inflating balloon or slash All right, now we do have to give it a mass and we're gonna say the mass is one and we do have to give it a center of mass. So the center of mass, I'm gonna say is zero, 0 0.5. That's about where it's gonna end up being, which is about right here. So that's, that's reasonable. The center of mass we can change if you wanna get very complicated and fancy, but for right now, that is good enough. All right, so next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to put it into the game. Now, in order to put things into the game, you have to add them to an asset bundle here in the bottom right. Now, as you can see here, I have a whole bunch of different asset bundles already made up, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to assume they're not there, and I'm going to click New. So we're going to give it a name. You don't want to make them too long because the game does have a text limit on importing, but we're just going to call this Splashdown, and we're going to then say, okay, it's Splashdown, and we're going to give it a variant, and we're going to go here, we're going to just add tags and we're going to change the category to other because that's where we want to go and it's going to say other category you don't have to worry about priority cost etc there you go so this is good we're going to go up to the top here where there's a menu we're going to hit windows because i'm doing windows um, windows and mac are supported you can also export android and os but they're not yet supported in the game so I don't export them yet. So there we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get our files. Here, I've gone to the model toolkit, gone to asset bundles windows, and I'm gonna grab Splashdown, which you can see here, copy it. I'm then gonna go to the parts folder, space like data, custom data parts, and I'm gonna paste it in here, and you can see Splashdown here. Now we can jump into the game and go to mod world where I do all my crazy modding in case I break something. Um, and you can see I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff. So we're just gonna clear that for right now. Clear, perfect. We're going to go to other, and we're gonna go look down this incredibly long list for our part, which is right here, inflating balloon. Perfect. Now, since this doesn't have a control, we're also going to grab a probe. Okay, so here we have it where we press this button here and our balloon expands. And if we press it again, it contracts. And that sort of is the tutorial. Now there's obviously a lot more stuff that you can do, but this tutorial at least gets you through the basics to creating an object, getting it into the game, and being able to sort of say, hey, I made something that you can then go and expand on it, look at other parts, make changes, and have at least some understanding of what steps need to go through in order to go from an idea to an actual game application. So thanks for watching.